Hi ladies and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wigtails. In today's video we are going to be talking about synthetic wigs. Something that I'm not really that familiar with. I have owned only one synthetic wig and that was my very first purchase. It was a John Renault Alexandra. I'll show you a picture. Um, we have a love-hate relationship. I named her Ruthie but she did open my door to wigs. Um, I felt instantly beautiful when I put her on. When I went from no hair to some hair, it was amazing. But I was so raw, fresh, and I was a wig virgin, so I didn't know much about them at all. So today we are gonna play with cheap Amazon synthetics. Um, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And first I was gonna let you know why I look so different. This is a brown hat hair I made. I call it Brond. So if you are interested in having a hat hair made, just shoot me a message or an email. I would love to make you one. Let's get into the video. We're gonna start with the worst first. <laughs> this is just a $20 um, synthetic that I got on Amazon. We'll give it, she's kind of, and she has beautiful curl pattern. Like the only thing I would say that is kind of uh about it, lots of shine, but we have dry shampoo. And it does have like a fake scalp, but the bangs are a little long. Um, I didn't want to trim them just in case I decided to give it away and someone else who wanted it um, may want to trim the bangs to their self. It does have a little bit of permatease right here to kind of give the, uh, the bangs their volume, I'm assuming. But it does give the bangs nice lift, so they're not flat, so that's not a bad thing. Let me show you inside of the cap. So um, this is your base very soft comfortable it is a open wefted cap with the uh, adjustable bra straps what I wanted to do with it that I thought would be fun to do and if I mess it up it's not that big of a deal I wanted to see about giving it some roots so it doesn't look so fake and then um, put some dry shampoo on her and see what we can make her look like but first <laughs> let me put her on so you can see what she looks like before we do anything to her you guys I can't quit laughing mm. it could be the hair color and like I said see the bangs are long but I would it's really cute the curl pattern is so pretty I do love that but the only thing that's getting me like eh about it is the shine and the root I think it needs some rooting it is a I think average cap, but I would say, I mean, I'm small cap and it fits pretty darn good, but this is what it looks like. Let me show you the back. <laughs> I do not look good in this color. But the curl pattern is so pretty. <laughs> um, now on the listing for the stock photo, it didn't look so red, which my lighting is making it look like strawberry red, but I would say it's like a strawberry blonde keeps getting my eyes but she's cute she could be some some fun the hair feels very dry um it's shedding a little bit very not hair like at all like if you're you'd bleach the crap out of your hair and then you just blow dried it and straightened it that's how it feels i am getting some shedding this is the first time i combed through it i've got like i don't know five or six hairs maybe some more on me but this is how it looks. What we are going to do is test each one of these colors. That way, if I mess it up, you won't see, but come on. That looks kind of good. And I did get some powder too. That way we can um, take some of the shine off with that. Um, on Ruthie, which was the original synthetic I had, my first ever wig. The one with love-hate relationship. Um, I didn't know about the dry shampoo hack back then because I wasn't in groups or anything. And I just did powder. Powder worked. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but that's pretty good. I mean, it's all I got right now. But I think that's going to work. Now, if this didn't have bangs and this was the wig that they sent, I would totally cut bangs into it because... The only other way you could really wear it was is with a hat and why wear a hot synthetic with a hat when you can have a hat hair. I mean, Ruthie, the reason we have a love-hate relationship is I had got her in the summer and we were going to do something and we were going to be outside and it was a hot Louisiana day. And I had Ruthie on, um, I think just her on and I had like a visor on. 
I about had a heat stroke. And when I say about had a heat stroke, I'm not lying. That thing was hot. I had to sit in the truck with the air conditioner and I was still hot. Um, synthetics with a hat. Oh, they're hot. That's why I started making hat hair. So cool. I mean, it, you don't get hot at all with the hat hair on. Not overheated. Alrighty. So now I'm going to take the brown marker. I hope you can see. Can you see? Yeah. I'm just going to kind of do a little rooting. <laughs> it looks horrible. I'm not going to lie. This was probably an epic fail. This is why I don't color my own wigs and when I buy the hat hair. Hair, I buy it pre-colored because you don't want me coloring your wig. I can tone the heck out of a wig. I can do stuff like that, but like rooting or something, trying to do a shadow root, it's, it's going to look like that, okay? It's going to look bad. And I would say if you're like new to the wig world, um, get a cheap synthetic in the beginning. Don't be like me. This thing is shedding. And buying some $400 synthetic. Don't waste your money. They don't last that long. Especially if worn daily. This thing, y'all, this thing is shedding like no other. Just be how it is when you first brush a cheap synthetic. But wait till you see the other one. So the dry shampoo, I'm gonna use my Lange Deja Vu dry shampoo. Not gonna waste much. I just wanna see if it takes down the shine. Do you see a difference? I don't see much of a difference at all. Now the powder, the translucent powder makes a huge difference. I'll show you in a second. I mean, that made a bigger difference. So the dry shampoo, not so much. I don't think I made a difference on this one. And I think I screwed up the root. I mean, I'll try it on one more time just to show you. And then we're going to go to the, the good one. I feel like strawberry shortcake. I just want to see if the root kind of made a difference. Oh, the root's not bad, but I think it's kind of obvious. Maybe the color wasn't right. But this, let's just say, unless you like this one, I'm going to say this one is an epic fail. Here she is. I had already thought I was recording the whole segment of showing you the cap and putting it on. The camera wasn't on. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just show it to you on. It is a 22 inch curly rooted lace front synthetic so it's lace from here to here i will show you um she is long she's gorgeous no shine to her at all like i don't know if the camera makes it look shiny but this is a lot of hair but when you're wanting to be extra and be glamorous and have mermaid blonde hair i think this is a win it is gorgeous it reminds me of my mom's hair this is how my mom's hair looks let me show you the back. I need to take the tag off, but I'm going to show you everything first. Okay, this is the next day. Somehow, um, when I went to edit some of the footage that I had thought I recorded after, didn't record. Um, I ended up doing a little bit better, making her look prettier. And I just wanted you to see that that way, you know, just showing you the footage I had. You may think she's ugly because she's not. She's gorgeous. I mean, she is beautiful. I'm gonna show you one more time. All I did was put the foundation here and all around the knots where you'll see it at the hairline. I haven't glued it down yet because I need to trim the ear tabs around the ear area. But that's her, you guys. She's beautiful, $45. If you want something pretty just to dress up in and have fun in, I'd go get it. And it does have knots. You can see them. Like that's where I didn't conceal them. Hang on, I'm trying to make it where you can see it. But you can conceal them pretty much. I hope you can see that good. And I don't want you to think it's better than it is or it's worse than it is. I mean, I would wear it. Everybody would probably know that you either had extensions or a wig on because it's so much hair, but who cares? live your extra life this thing is beautiful it reminds me of my mom's hair i'm gonna wear the crap out of it okay this is what she looks like on and i think she is gorgeous i did not do her justice yesterday so i'm kind of glad my footage got lost or not recorded so all i done was um put the concealer a little bit on the top um the powder under the bottom i did two layers no hairspray in between and then to do my uh, fix my part, I just keep wetting it until I get it where I want it. The only thing that um, I haven't done yet, 
of course, is trim the ear tabs yet. I love her. She's gorgeous. I mean, she's beautiful. I think dressed up with some nice makeup. Beautiful. Let me show you an outline. And you know, it does have knots like a real wig, but if you do um, the foundation or translucent powder, it does hide them a lot. I am going to get me some scar tape just for the part, just because I don't like wearing a wig cap because the wig cap does help. And to activate the curl, so say, I'll show you. So say you brush her out. And you can make her kind of as curly as you want, but just with water. And she does not shed a lot. And I've brushed her a bunch of times already, okay? So see how she kind of, well, she's still a little bit wet right here from where I fixed her. All you do is take your spray bottle and it reactivates the curls. Cause I tried to keep it kind of straight right here. You don't have to. Um, I may curl it up just for cuteness, but it gives it volume. Water is really all you need to activate this baby. Well, um, I had curly hair, so I love it. Um, the only con, like I said earlier, was she's thick and she's kind of dry feeling like a dry blonde but it's not like itchy and she does not tangle like i had a hoodie on yesterday no tangles it's kind of odd it is kind of straight right there i don't know if that helps it but it's kind of weird that it hasn't tangled yet i'm sure it will i mean it's not perfect um again remember you can part it anywhere in here and you can fix your part the only thing is is you kind of kind of have a short part because if you brush this hair to the side, you will see those wefts, which is not a big deal. I think a little bit of teasing could give it some volume. I didn't do much because I wanted you to see it as is. And again, I wanted to make another video. Um, that way people can learn with me on thinning them and cutting the ear tabs. Because this is the type of wig you could glue from here to here and pull it back. Gorgeous, you guys. Let me show you the back one more time. Alright, that's not all the hair. Here's all the hair. That is a lot of hair. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to thin it because I kind of enjoy that Rapunzel, beautiful, you know, extra hair. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Um, if I would have just stuck with the footage that I have, then you wouldn't have got to see how cute she actually does look. That's it. This is her. Let me Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I would say I, I epically failed this one. Strawberry Shortcake didn't do good, but I do love Teresa. She is gorgeous, 45 bucks. The cap is a dream. My head is super sensitive and it does not bother me. Um, it is a little heavy. Like I said, I do think she could use a little thinning, but I think that's what makes her beautiful is the thick blonde hair. So I don't know if you'd want to thin it too much. And I really wouldn't cut it because it does go thin to the ends. So it's not crazy at the length. Had it on about an hour. Haven't brushed it. No tangling at the nape or anything. And I do have a hood on. So hoods tend to make things tangle more. Um, so didn't tangle. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hope you have a beautiful weekend.